Well, there has been uh, a lot of debate about it. But if you look at the participation levels at the present time, they're no different from participation levels at, at other chogams. And uh, the setting of the chogam is actually much bigger than simply an intergovernmental organization. There's the youth, the civil society, business, a cast of thousands which participates in it. Nonetheless, this thing is already, I mean, if you just look at what's trending on Twitter, that kind of thing, there's no question that this summit, as, as we build up to it, is being overshadowed by those allegations, which have been there for years, four years, um, of, of, uh, of human rights atrocities. Well, as far as the Commonwealth is concerned, our strength is engagement in the field of democracy, rule of law, human rights, and strengthening of public uh, institutions. We don't look away from the hard and difficult questions. For instance, reconciliation is something in which we did an event in which we invited all the experience of the Commonwealth to participate. We did an event in, in the Northern Province on reconciliation, and together with the Human Rights Commission, we have developed a human rights plan. The uh, well, plan on, is all very well and on, good. On you say engagement is the Commonwealth's way, but what have you got to show for it? You know, we've got uh, a Chief Justice who's been sacked. You know that was, you've been told yourself that was illegal. You've got journalists and, and people critical of, of the government there disappearing, the so-called white van disappearance. What have you actually got to show for all this engagement you talk about? As far as the Chief Justice incident is concerned, I made statements to the effect that this was not in keeping uh, with the uh, norms. And nothing happened. And we prepared a compendium, we prepared an analysis, we prepared recommendations, which are now with the consultative committee of, uh, of the parliament. We are one of the organizations that are really there working so, so, so on months these issues. After, months after nothing has happened, that's the bottom line, isn't it? Just on this question. Well, we've been working on in nine months. Yeah, nine I mean, months. We have even more happened. to show. But would you accept that nothing done. has happened? I think a lot has happened. No, on, on the question of the Chief Justice, you say you, you've, you've tried to engage. What can you show me has happened as a result of that? The recommendations which Sri Lanka has to look at are with them at the present point of time. Right. Okay, so, so for, we've had all these months and nothing has happened. The United Nations, for example, has said, look, there's one way to sort all this out. Why not have an internationally credible inquiry into these allegations of, of war crimes, of human rights abuses? You must surely think that would be worth having. We are engaged with Sri Lanka in advancing all the causes they have on the human rights uh, issues. But what about that UN call? What do you think of that? We don't have... Uh, uh, a position on uh, something which is not practical. Hang on a minute. You're, you're Secretary do. General, yeah. you're the guardian of the Commonwealth's principles, and you don't have a view on an organization like the United Nations saying, do you know what? There ought to be a credible international inquiry into these allegations of human rights abuse. We are engaged in advancing the cause of human rights there, and we, we have a lot to show for it uh, going, going forward. Well, you haven't got... What, just to tell, tell me one thing you can show for all this uh, engagement that you've been having. We have a national plan for reconciliation together with the Human Rights Commission. We have, together with the Human Rights Commission, also a two-year plan on torture by state institutions in which also we are getting the Commonwealth experience included uh, in it. And the strengthening of the Human Rights Commission itself is something which we are doing because in the end, you have to make progress in terms of what national institutions are able to do.